keep working. Just keep working. Just keep working. Today, I'm gonna present the hardest thing I've ever printed. It is this. And <laughs> I dropped it. This is called the QSN. And this is a seriously challenging thing to print. The quasi-crystalline spin network, the QSN, is a three-dimensional quasi-crystal, which has been constructed by the group by projecting the E8 lattice from eight dimension all the way down to three dimension. This quasi-crystal is a possibility space in 3D, which is made only of regular tetrahedron. To generate this, I use Mathematica. I uh, computed all the small triangles. We have dodecahedrons, we have icosahedrons of two different sides. Russ came into my office, he sees this object, and he said to me, I want to 3D print this object. There's so many triangles that it's almost overload for even my best computer. Let's go into my secret laboratory. So this is my closet. This is actually the 3D printer that I use to print these QSNs. It is a homemade machine. I actually have the camera mounted on the end effector here, and then it is reflecting off of a mirror. This 20 group is uh, the small uh, sphere here, but it's difficult to print uh, all these uh, small sphere, so we remove them. This thing is nuts. The entire structure is very detailed on the inside. If we take a two-dimensional slice, then you see that this is the symmetry of the pen row styling. If you print too fast or too slow, it does not work very well. We made uh, several uh, tries to print this because this is typically the kind of object impossible to 3D print because the filament 3D printer add matter uh, layer by layer, and so you need to have a layer to add another layer. You see that here you have many sticks which have no layer on the bottom. And then the next layer has nothing to sit on, which is a real challenge. It failed. I have to stop it. Pull out this plastic. 3D printing, it's going to be very frustrating. And then we shouldn't have these problems. So you will have some failures. Sometimes you got to fight through the failures to get a success. Finally, he did it, and it's wonderful, and I'm very happy to have it. This is the best QSN I've printed to date. You can see all the details really nicely. These uprights turned out pretty darn good. You can actually see all the way through the structure. This is the only one I printed this big, and it was a fail. I think about 22 hours in, it just got caught and ripped off the bed. And this is the smallest one I've ever printed, 25 millimeters tall. That's ridiculous. You can actually see the structure, which is completely crazy, especially since this is a homemade machine. So when I'm not 3D printing the substructure of space-time, I 3D print about anything that I need. Things like these coils here, what we call vortex-based math coils, also known as rodent coils. So this is the bottom of the couch, and the couch moves really a lot when you sit on it. So I 3D printed some of these white rubber TPU feet. So the phone laying on the table here, it's always a pain in the butt. So this little 3D printed man holds this phone just in the right spot. And this is the next 3D printing project, kids. So this is the grandfather clock that I found on my front porch one day. My neighbor gave it to me and uh, it didn't have half the parts. In order to wind this clock, I needed a key. So I decided to 3D print a key from scratch. I 3D printed the actual hat racks that go on the wall. And my mother-in-law wanted a couple of dragonflies, so I 3D printed this. And it's actually hanging by the filament it was printed with. These parts in my hand are actually upgrade parts for this printer that were printed on this printer. I 3D printed this snap-on GoPro mount, which fits this very strange profile. And then on the back of the helmet, there is a wireless microphone receiver and a battery backup. So last night at about 10.30, I drew this up, and when I woke up this morning, it was done. I recently 3D printed this dice to replace the ones I lost. You ready to roll? Good job. A two. Two. Five. 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 Five.
I'm just gonna check in on my 3D print. Since everything's 3D printed live, 